But it's not trying to it's not trying to cooperate with a sis. Like, excuse me? Anyways, make myself go out just cause it's like somebody is gonna see this look. Like I ain't come here for nothing. Oh uh, no! Sticky icky yeah. Sticky icky yeah. Locks now be rapping. Wiki wiki ya yeah. with the big 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 ya. Yeah. He's always yelling. Why are you yelling? What's up loves? It's Nikki Badu. So today what we're gonna be doing is a simple everyday makeup tutorial. So before I start anything when it comes to makeup, and I know I'm about to put on my lashes. Gotta put the context on, you know. There's been times that I do my makeup and just take off my glasses and do what I gotta do. But honestly, I'm very blind and it's actually a blessing that the makeup turns out looking very great afterwards. But today, I'm not trying to struggle. So we gonna pop these things on and I'll get back to you. All right, got the context in. Now I can see clearly, we thank God. But before we start, let's just take some time to appreciate this light. The sun is doing it justice. Matter of fact, got the windows open right beside me. And this is just all you're receiving right now is natural light, okay? And this is just uh, do you see do you see do you see this? Get into it. No, my forehead big, but it's glowing though. It's glowing. <clears throat> so yeah, we're gonna get into it. So first thing I do is my eyebrows. I don't understand how people do their makeup very backwards and start with their foundation, then do their brows last. I think that's very crackhead mentality um but i definitely do my brows first so before i put in put the pencil on my eyebrows i get some bc powder and this is what i got from walmart it's very cheap and very affordable and i use this brush basically dip it dab out the excess and then and I, oh 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 okay clearly i didn't dab off enough but we move yeah, I do this. I put this on my eyebrows just because I feel like it's easier for me to do my brows when it's like drier. Because like you know, I moisturize my face and like um, after going out, my forehead area gets oily. So I like to put this on just so it could dry the area. So now that we got that, you know, got the got the powder cooking up on my brows. So now we're gonna go ahead grab the handy dandy pencil. Y'all, for the longest, I used to use brown pencil and I swore up and down that it was the right thing for me. But once I went black, you never go back. You know what they say. Yes, sir. But um, yeah, I once I got the black pencil and started using it, I was like, wow, this is a hundred times better than me using dark brown pencil. Like, let's get back to this. So I start with the bottom of my brows. And I like to like move it upwards on this area. Y'all, I moved into a new apartment like a few days ago. Actually, it was last week because I'm about to start new school, new life. I'm in Austin, Texas, by the way. Um, my master's program is starting next month. So that's why I had to move over here. But I like the city, but... Well, actually, there's no but. I like the city. And I like my apartment. However, however, there's some things that needs to get worked on here. You know, apartments love to claim up and down that, oh, it's luxury, it's a luxury apartment, modern home. My dear, why am I walking into catastrophe? Like, if I'm paying so much for rent, I need to be walking in to no problems. Like, why are there stains all over my floor like i don't like that i don't like that and that is why i like to have wood floors because i mean all i gotta do is sweep them up but with carpet you gotta sweep you gotta vacuum like and then you gotta worry about stains if something drops on it and it's like oh she let me clean that up and then it leaves a mark like it's just carpet maintenance is annoying you know what i mean so that's that on that. Um, 
another con with this place is that the bathroom only has one light switch which controls the vent and the light who thinks that that's a great idea like why would i want to be hearing the vent every time that i turn on the light that it just be killing my vibes can't even listen to music in peace in my restroom while i'm taking a shower because the vent noise just overpowers everything those are like the only two negative things that i don't like about this place but everything else i feel is really good everything else is fine who's that girl da -da 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 -da. i don't know why i started singing clearly i can't sing you know what's crazy is always those who can't sing that be singing the most like I make songs out of everything if i'm sweeping i'm gonna make a sweep song if i'm cleaning like every single thing i got a song to go with it but my vocals are just not it but am i gonna stop i'm not i'm definitely gonna keep on singing if you don't want to hear close your ears close your ears all right y'all went to my eyebrow lady but every time i tell them i just want a little cleanup just and i emphasize it i make sure i emphasize it just clean up underneath that's it why do they always go crazy like i don't understand so she decided to just chop my eyebrows off like one was way skinnier than the other and I don't know why but this time it's taking forever for it to grow back which is like a good thing but bad thing at the same time because I actually wanted to grow back quick so that I could fix it fix the Jesus but you know it's whatever we move so the concealer that I use is from Lancome Yep, I have a sample. You know, if you don't know me, one thing about me is I'm a sample queen. Like, I'm going to get my samples regardless. Like, I like to get sample foundation, sample size, concealer, just because I don't wear makeup that often. Like, I only wear it when I go to parties or parties or like certain functions, interviews, stuff like that. But... So I don't really feel a need to buy like a big old foundation. So, and these sample sizes have lasted me. This sample, I've had it for months. This little thing, I've had it for months. Like that's how good this is. That's how clutch samples are. Like if you're someone like me who doesn't wear makeup that often, samples will be your best friend. Like save your money, save your money and get samples. Also, I haven't done makeup in a while. Just because I haven't been going anywhere, I just work. But you know, because of COVID, I don't know. I don't really have a need to go out unless it's the grocery store. In which, for that, I don't care how I look. You know what I mean? And for work, I also don't care how I look. As long as I look presentable, you know, I don't feel the need for makeup. Back in my freshman year days of college, of undergrad. I used to do makeup looks all the time but mainly for me it was because I was insecure about my face I always had a lot of black spots like acne was my best friend literally we just broke up this year but yeah freshman year I always wore makeup I always had foundation on just because I was insecure about the way my skin was looking on my face so I wore that a lot but I also did a lot of makeup looks and eyeshadow looks um that was a time period that i did a lot of exploring with makeup i always bought like palettes all of that i haven't bought a palette since freshman year it's been a smooth four years and i haven't bought not one makeup palette if i get like new ones it's because someone gave it to me as a gift i'm still good at it don't get me wrong don't get it twisted i still got the talents i just lost the ambition for it i guess but the talent is still there so if someone was to like hit me up or like my friends wanted me to do their makeup or like i look for them to take pics or for whatever they got going on i got them you know because i have this talent you want me to bless you you my close friend i got you no problems in high school i used to always do hair like it was actually my side hustle in high school i don't know why but once i got to college i just completely stopped but like I would still be doing my own hair I just wouldn't do other people just because I didn't feel like it so I guess you could say it was laziness let's just go ahead and blend it and then we'll see the final look 
Because, you know, sometimes the thing about doing eyebrows, sometimes, like, you'll start on one and be like, eh, it's not looking right. But then once you, like, continue and keep going, it's like, oh, okay. Things are finally falling in order, <laughs> you know what I mean? Somebody, anybody, help me, please. You know what's crazy? Whenever I do my brows and I'm rushing with it, it actually looks way better than my brows that I actually take my time to do. Yeah, YouTube. It's something that I've always wanted to do, but I don't know, I just never started because I thought that I needed a certain amount of equipment, you know, in order to be fully prepared. But honestly, that's not even the case. Like, I got this good phone, which has good camera quality. I don't need to go out and buy an expensive camera just for the sake of YouTube. So that's just something that I had to, like, grow and understand in order for me to finally just start. And then boom. Easy breezy, Nikki Badu. <laughs> Another thing that I add is got to be glue. I promise you, your brows will stay on. I'm Nigerian. If you haven't realized that yet, there are times that my accent just comes out of nowhere. Sometimes it even catches me off guard. Like I'm like, ooh, whoa, where'd that come from? Because I was like born and raised in Houston, Texas. Um, only went to Nigeria for family trips. But somehow, I gained the accent. Don't know how, but I forgot where I got this palette from. But I know I got it for a cheap price. Maybe it was five and below. Maybe the beauty supply store. This is very cheap, but this is a very, very good palette. So I just go in with a light color. I use yellow. From yellow, we go to this color. Something slight for the girls. Something slight for the girls and boys. Oh, the brown. Honestly, I'm doing this makeup look. I'm not even going anywhere. Probably gonna just take pics. For some people, it's a way of them feeling good about themselves. Like, wow, I'm actually still pretty. You know what I mean? This corona, man, it got people feeling all types of ways. And you can still get cute. Even when you quarantine me, honey, let's just move on to the next foundation, which is MAC. I feel like Lancome is better than MAC. Well, to me, it just works best for me, blends better, and it's just better coverage. So I usually like put this in here a little bit, then I dab, 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 dab. Put it all over. Blend it in, blend it in. Spray it a little bit. One of the things I might add onto my channel is like gluten-free meals, certain things that I buy. Basically, how to live a gluten-free life. You know, there's some times that I end up cheating. Like, it's either I eat this or I starve. And sometimes, you know, I don't want to starve. So, I eat it and then I suffer afterwards. But at least I know of the consequences ahead of me, you know? When I first realized that I had this, it was my sophomore year of undergrad. I was eating a lot of sandwiches, especially when I was living on campus. I had swipes, and every time I would literally go to like Chick fil A, just eating all types of bready things after a year and some change. My body was just tired. It was like, look, you don't put too much of this in me, I can't process this anymore. In fact, I can't digest it, so. Yeah, that's when I realized. Well, actually, I didn't realize until I was bloated for so long. Like, I'm talking months. I was so bloated. I couldn't suck in. It was painful. And I don't know, it's so weird. Like, my body ended up, like, my feet and my hands, like, I would tingle a lot. And so I was expressing this to my mom, and she was like, you know, maybe you need to go to the doctor. Let's take a trip. So we went to the doctor. And um, after I did so much research, like I'm thinking, I'm over here on Google, like, please, what do I have? Like, what disease do I have? Like, why am I going through this? Y'all, Google will scare you. Please be very careful when you Google things. Oh, yeah, so I went to the doctor and she ran like some tests. Then she was like, you know, because of your bloating, try this gluten free diet for a couple weeks. I did it for a month first. And I was like, hmm, okay, not bad. I was like, I see a reduction in the bloating. I'm pooping more, you know what I mean? And yeah then i was like you know what let me try it for the rest of the summer so i did that and i felt like so much better like the tingling stopped the bloating stopped i felt like i was eating healthier 
I just felt so much better within. Like my system was good. And so I was like, you know what? I guess I was gluten sensitive. And so now I decided to just make it a lifestyle. Now it's just everything I eat is gluten free. So when I get cereal, it has to be gluten free. It just sucks because everything that's gluten free is expensive. Like I can't buy pancake mix for two dollars anymore. <laughs> like that shit costs five dollars, sometimes even more. And also like when you go to restaurants, not a lot of restaurants accommodate gluten free. Or if they do, it's like very, 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 very select items. That part doesn't really phase me just because I don't really go out to eat. Now we're gonna put some concealer under my eyes. So I'm Nigerian. I'm 22 years old. I'm from Houston, Texas. And also, I do hair. I mostly do my own hair though. Like, I like to switch up my hairstyles. Coming into this year, I made like a goal for myself to basically try not to wear wigs at all. And like, I did pretty good except for March. Well, that was my birthday, so that was an exception <laughs> other than that i've been having like protective hairstyles i have done like braids i've done faux locks yarn twists and if, if y'all want a video of how i did my yarn twist or how to do yarn twists how to like cut the yarn all of that i can get that for y'all i might not do my whole hair but i'll show y'all a little something some. y'all just gotta let me know and then my faux locks i did that like from scratch <laughs> you know i didn't do the crochet version but I started off with yarn first and then I wrapped Marley hair around it. So right now what I have in my hair is crochet curly hair. It was very cheap, very quick thing to do. I recently permed my edges. Every time I lay my edges, it lasts the whole day. All I do is edge control. Before I used to do like a gel and edge control combo. And the edge control I use is edge effect by the way. But yeah, I used to do the combo and then have to like lay down with a scarf. But now I literally just use the edge control and then, you know, brush and do my little swoop de swoop and that's it. And then it lasts the whole day. So I don't even use scarf. Like, now we can go ahead and put the setting powder. Now, let's go ahead and get my handy dandy contour. So I got this from Dollar Tree. I have like a black opal one, but I recently got this. So let's go ahead and test it out. Dollar Store be having some gems, okay? And people real life be missing out. And y'all need to get into it because y'all could be getting things for the low. Y'all could be doing DIY stuff. Mm -hmm. Like one day my brain just decided to turn into a money making machine. I was like, Nikki, you need to hustle. Like, you need to do other things. It's not every day just working and school, you know what I mean? Like, I could put my energy into things that I actually enjoy doing. Dollar Tree. See, it doesn't look like I'm doing too much. That's what I use to blend out my powder. Cause we don't want flashback okay okay this brush is what i use for my nose contour then oh i forgot blush see that's how y'all know i haven't done makeup in so long this is a very cheap blush y'all this blush i got from a dollar store years ago and it's still going like i love it so much now we can spray But while that's drying, let's go ahead and get the lashes cooking up. This is my favorite glue, Star Glue, dark stuff. For the lashes to get on my eyeballs, to get on my eyeballs. All right. Ooh, I haven't put on lashes in a while too. Am I ready for this? I'm getting nervous. My heart is beating. Do you hear this? Do you hear that? Anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know how people could talk while they're putting on lashes. Like, I need absolute silence. Gotta be able to focus on what I got going on. 
I do eyebrows, eyeshadow, lashes, then I move on to my face. But yeah, I definitely did not follow my own instructions because why am I doing my lashes last? There we go. There we go. Oh, my lips need something. My lips need some milk. I use Carly by Bell. I've also had this palette for years, like going four or five years. Like palettes last forever. Especially if you don't do makeup like that, your palettes will last forever. Girl, look at that glow. Mmm. Girl, look at that glow. Mmm. Girl, look at that glow. Ooh, it's me, it's me. Eh -eh. Girl, look at that glow. Mm -mm. Yeah. Hope y'all like this video. Please make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment down below whatever tips or ideas y'all have for the next video or any future videos that y'all want from me. Just let me know. Alright, goodbye loves.